Welcome back to the homestead guys. We are doing a cool little project today. I wanted to show you what we're up to. Give you a little homesteading tip on how to trellis grapes. As you can see behind me, we have a uh, four by four post on each edge. This is uh, about 16 feet. Um, we're doing a small little uh, grape trellis here because we're gonna have one here. And the one I'm gonna be showing you how to make today is gonna be around here, just spaced off this other trellis we have. Couple cool things in researching uh, grape trellises that we found out. We looked all over YouTube to find a good video on how to, how to do this because we've never done it before. A lot of what you see on our channel is just us learning and trying to figure out how to do these things. The grape trellis you see behind me is, I would say, the simplest, easiest, most cost-effective way to trellis grapes. I will have a supplies list, a tool list in the description below that you can check out. So let's go ahead and get started and jump right into this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just mark off your spacing, obviously. So we're gonna be going about six and a half feet away from this trellis that we have here. It'll be a little bit of a tight spacing, but we don't have a large area we're working with here in the uh, berry and orchard part of our yard. So um, so we're gonna space this six and a half feet off. So I just measured it with a little wheel measure and uh, we're about six and a half feet here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and dig a two and a half foot hole right here. And then we will do the same on the other side. When you're digging a hole for these four by fours, you wanna dig a large enough diameter hole that you can end up getting in there with a rock bar. And I'll show you what a rock bar is here in a second. But you want a wide enough area where you can work into and you can pound the dirt back because we're not gonna be using cement for these holes. We're just gonna work with the soil that we got gonna put a little bit of drainage rock in there that's how I typically dig my posts and honestly I think later we'll come back and we'll attach some anchoring to these posts as the uh, grapevines begin to take shape all right so now we have our hole at 30 inches so the first thing we're gonna do is dump some drainage rock down in there Putting some rock in there, yeah. So we'll take the clay, some of the clay dirt first, shove it in the hole. Move our post back a little bit. Mix in a little bit more rock. Just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Before we start pounding our post in we're going to make sure that we're plumbing level here on this post so that when we knock it in we know we're uh, straight up and down when you're setting your post in you're going to be using a rock crusher there's the end of the rock crusher that flattens the soil in and we're just layering our uh, drainage rock and our soil together kind of mixing it up almost like creating it our own concrete basically um, but one crucial thing when you're putting this post in you want to make sure this is flat with the other side that you're going towards because when you put that wire vise in and through you need a flat surface to lay it on so we'll go ahead and knock this post in and then do the other side and then we'll move on to the wire vices and the wire yep exactly and this is why we left a good diameter hole to work in because this rock crusher needs to be able to get in there to tamp the dirt down. All right, now that we got our post set in, two and a half feet in the ground, five and a half above, eight foot treated post. Uh, now that we got their post set in, got one here and then one about 16 feet down there. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is install our wire and wire vices. But first let me show you what a wire vise looks like. So this is a one-way wire vise. Like I said, I'll leave a, a link in the description below. You can get them off Amazon. Actually, I haven't found any other place that you can get them besides Amazon. Um, it's just a little aluminum, you know, cheap piece of hardware, but they seem to be working well. 
on the other one that I built. So the wire goes in this end, comes out the other end, and it doesn't let it go back the other way. And so here's one installed. Here is the nine gauge wire. Again, we got this, a two pack of this, uh, total 50 feet, 25 foot rolls off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where you can pick that up. And that's gonna go through the wire vise. This wire vise is able to take eight, nine, 10, and 11 gauge wires. So this is a nine gauge, like I said. So the next thing we're gonna do, to, so the next thing we're gonna do to prepare for our uh, wire going through is we're gonna uh, measure down about two and a half inches from the top and we're gonna drill a hole so that that wire vise can go through and then we'll pull our wire through. So for my uh, wire vise uh, dimensions, I'm using a 9 16th um, drill bit and I'll show you what I do with it once I make my hole. So let's go ahead and measure and drill it in. Two and a half inches down, right in the center. This isn't rocket science, we're just doing a hole. You wanna make sure you're level while you're uh, drilling. Then uh, once we got our hole drilled, because the wire vise actually, it tapers uh, like that, I just go ahead and round out the back of this hole. So move the screwdriver around a little bit, give it space, and then just kind of create your own taper there. So that's where the wire vise is gonna go. So what you're gonna wanna do is unroll just a little bit of your nine gauge wire. You're gonna send it through the inside of the post and out the back. Once it's out the back, you take your wire vise and you're just gonna push it right on there. And then it's gonna push through and you're just gonna want to twist it around. Sometimes it gets stuck on there. So. And just like that, it won't come back through. So you just give it a little, and then just like that. And now, once you have it like that, now you're just gonna take your two, uh, two screws, and you're gonna knock that into the post. Now that won't pull back through. See how strong that is? And so now what we're gonna do, this is pretty uh, heavy duty wire, so you kinda need to walk it out. So you just unroll it as you go. You're just gonna walk it out. So we'll just walk it all the way back to our other side. Then once you have it over here, you can just loop it around and keep it there for a second. Now we'll go ahead and drill our second hole. We'll get our wire vise in and I'll show you how to finish this um, wire up. So I cut the wire longer than I needed just to get it through. On this side, we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Send our wire through this end, push it through and connect our vise on this side and we'll just go ahead and pull it as taut as we can and now we'll screw in this side to the wire vise and then i'll tension it up a little bit further there's a couple different ways you can tension this wire we don't really want to tension it too much before we get our plants growing up or before we get our vines growing up uh, but every year you're going to have to re-tension this wire that's why these wire vices are great because all they require is you to come out here with some pliers and pull on one end and it retensions the wire back up. And um, later, we're probably going to have to come in here and anchor these down to the ground over here so they don't bend and bow in. But that's the extent of adding the wire. Uh, so we're going to have, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that same process up here we're gonna go and do down here. Now, this is, like I said, two and, a heat, two and a half inches from the top. The next hole we do on the bottom is gonna be three feet from the bottom uh, of the post. And that's where we're gonna want our second line. All right, now that we got our wires installed, the last step that we're gonna do is we're gonna install some T-posts. In our situation, this is dual purpose. So one, it's to just bolster the wire uh, support. So when the plants get on here, they have something to hold on to. And two, we're gonna be putting these next to the base of the vine, the grapevine when it grows up. So it has some extra uh, support and direction to go where we want it to. And so we're gonna be planting our grape plants just off to the side of these T posts. And so in our instance, we're doing about three and three quarters away from the edge of the, um, the posts. 
So we're only gonna have two uh, great plants on each of these lengths of trellis. So we're gonna go ahead and um, pound these T-posts in. I think these are just about eight feet, maybe a little bit less than eight feet T-posts. We're gonna pound these in, like I said, every three and three quarter uh, feet. And, um, and then we'll be done. We'll be ready to plant our great plants. So let's get these T-posts knocked in and let's finish this project up. The last step we're going to do here is now that we have the t-post in, uh, installed we're going to take our t-post clip loop it around and loop it around this side and then we have a t-post uh, clip tool these things are awesome they're handy if you don't have one of these just use some pliers or something it's basically the same thing it just makes this really easy and we're going to clip on to it and then we're going to twist it around until it falls off and then we'll do the same on this side until it falls off just like that now we got our t-post clips on and that's it that's just to bolster this structure a little bit so that's it guys that's the extent of our uh, grapevine trellis I'm really pleased with the structure and the way it turned out this by far is the simplest method for growing grapes so we're just getting started into grapes this is our first year growing them uh, we're excited to learn about uh, pruning and training them and all of that good stuff. And so stay tuned for those videos. Anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to install a grape trellis. Remember, if you want to stay connected with our journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and hit all and you'll get all of our notifications when we release videos. Also, go check us out on Instagram at, at Goshen Farm and Gardens. And we will see you all in the next video.